Hello, I'm Bradley and welcome to my channel. Okay, so a very good evening to you. And this is something which I have been thinking of in my own mind for a little while. And it's become more and more apparent. So I was I sat downstairs and I thought to myself, yeah, do you know what? I need, I need to voice this on my channel. You don't give yourself enough credit. We don't give ourselves enough credit. Now, of course, you meet the odd person who is overly confident, um, sometimes construed as a little bit arrogant, but you know what? Good on them, because if you can walk around and you can own own you and you can and you can know all of what you're feeling, where you want to go and everything, amazing. But you really don't give yourself enough credit. Now, I've been trying to work on this lately. Now, if you're thinking what on earth is Bradley sat there going on about, well, quite simply, you just don't give yourself enough credit. You may well be down. You may well be low. And believe you me, at the moment, I've got several family members who are trying their utmost. I've got brothers, two brothers especially, who are trying to put their life where they want it to be. And they think actually that it's not going so well, but actually it's going amazingly. They both have children. They both have done incredibly well to get where they are. And they have so much to put their heads up above and as they say, the same up above the parapet and to really feel proud because do you know what? I think that sometimes we can be so wrapped up in where we want our lives to be and how apparently our lives are meant to look and what we're meant to have in the bank and what house we're meant to have and what we're meant to be doing on a daily basis. And actually you forget that actually you are doing really, really well. Now, if that is you and you're sat there and you're thinking, actually, yeah, I've done, I've done okay, but it's not where I want my life to be. You don't need to rush. You really don't need to rush. I went through a huge heartbreak, to be quite honest with you. Last May, my whole world was turned upside down. I lost my nan. So for me, life stood still, and often it stands still, because I struggle to think that how on earth can I, how on earth can I, do this when Nan's not here or she can't see what I'm doing. My Nan, I'm very, very privileged and cherished that she had a very, very long life. And I'm trying to tell myself to do all these wonderful things for her to see and to hopefully make her proud. I've been blessed with my family. And when you sit and you see these things, these, these things which people are going through and almost destroying themselves when actually they're actually successful already and anything else is a bonus. If you're sat there and you're thinking to yourself, my life's a complete mess, take a look at it, strip it back, actually take a moment to look. If you sit in a house, if you have children, if you are in a job, if you are in a position where actually you're comfortable, you're happy, but yet you want that little bit more, that is great. That is aspiration. That's what keeps this world turning. That's what keeps that spirit, that fire in us going, which is fantastic of what life is all about. But you are not giving yourself enough credit. Interesting, isn't it? It certainly is. Now, I get days where I feel very, very dark. Most of all, my mum and my dad get me through. I've been blessed with the most incredible parents. and I love them very, very much. They're my best friends. My nan, as I say, I'm very heartbroken and I'm finding it very difficult. I'm actually in the process of uh, having a, uh, a memorial bench in our local crematorium where my nan and myself used to visit and tend to my grandfather's grave. And it sounds a little bit morbid, but we used to spend time there and have lunch and things on a beautiful bench and a beautiful area of trees and things. And I think that was my nan's way of feeling close to my grandfather. I was only one when he passed away. So I, I think of all these things, and that's what I'm dealing with at the moment. And I'm and I'm trying to get this memorial bench for my nan in a in a place right by my grandfather's memorial tree. So that's what I'm doing at the moment. But I had a day yesterday after thinking about all of that, and I thought, you know what? I felt so empty, so so cold, and as though you'd switched the lights out on me. And I was just I was just doing things. I wasn't even thinking about it. I was just doing it. I was just doing my my work. I was just doing it to a high standard, as I always like to think I do. But I wasn't really living. I felt like I really wasn't. I wasn't. That I felt so empty. And I thought to myself, do you know what? You're doing this to yourself. And actually, 
My nan wouldn't want to see me like this. She'd want me to have everything. My mum and dad want me to have an amazing life. And then I sat there and I thought to myself, actually, Bradley, you've done incredibly well with education, with everything in the background. This isn't a clip for me to talk about myself. This is me telling you that if you're sat there and you're thinking to yourself that you're in the bottomless pit and you don't know which way to turn, number one, take a moment and just breathe. Compose yourself. Look around. You have done really well to just realise that this has to stop or this has to change or if you're making a difference. Because when you're in that rut and you're not necessarily looking at yourself and thinking, actually, there is good. Or if you're looking at life and you're thinking that it's all bad and it's all awful or there's no good left then unfortunately that is just a spiral waiting to happen where it will soon spiral out of control. And you'll end up feeling awful, to be quite honest with you. So first of all, stop, think about your life, and try and be positive and give yourself credit because you're not giving yourself enough. Because actually, when you stop and you actually think what you have achieved, Here's an example. When I lost my nan, and I was with my nan when she took her last breath, I didn't think I'd be able to go a week without her. We are in February. May, my nan would have been gone one year. That absolutely, I almost feel pain in my heart that that is the case. That's what my life is now. We surprise ourselves daily. Until we are in a certain situation, we don't know what we're capable of. Now, unfortunately, that can be aggression for some people. But what I'm talking about, I'm not talking about aggression and violence. We hear enough of that horrific, horrificness on the television, on the news, wherever in this world. And it's deeply sad. I'm talking about we do not know what we are capable of in terms of positivity, in terms of getting back up, in terms of brushing ourselves off and going again and again, and again, until we're there, until we reap the reward of life, until we enjoy the love this life gives us. Yeah, it makes sense. Honestly, take a moment and think about it, because mark my words, you do not give yourself enough credit. You don't. You really don't. Otherwise, you wouldn't have clicked on this clip anyway, would you? Right now, I have two brothers, my second eldest and my twin brother, who have done incredibly well. They don't often see that. They've done incredibly well. Both have children. My twin brother has a little baby girl who has come through so much as being born very, very premature. My second eldest brother, all what he has and his family and everything he has around him. Sometimes he often needs reminding what that is and whether that be something simple and small or whether that be something huge. Remind the people you love what they have in front of them when they're feeling down and when they're finding life tough. We don't give ourselves enough credit. Life is not easy, and I always say, why on earth should it be? And I think the best way to meet negativity is positivity, and that way you will always win. Take each day, take each step. And you know what? Actually say to yourself, you got through today. Well done. You've done that exam. Well done. You've done that first day at the new job. It was tough and I absolutely hated it, but you've done it. Give yourself credit if you're looking after a family member, a loved one, and they're through illness and you're going through a really tough time. Give yourself credit. If you're in money worries or if you're really, really struggling, the small decision you make of getting yourself back on track, changing your life, changing the way you think about things, give yourself credit. This life is not easy. Very often when we turn the television on, we see a perfect life through sitcoms, through films. I know I've sat there and I've often thought to myself that I wish I lived in one of these American movies in the terms of the background of my health and in where my life is. Not family, I've been blessed in this life. I said it, give myself credit because I can see the good things in my life. I'm not striving for something I can't have. I'm not being selfish. I can see the good things. 
you know what I mean? I talk from me having a not so great day. And then I try and look at myself in the mirror and then I try and think, actually, Bradley, you're feeling flat, you're feeling down. Give yourself credit. It's been nearly a year since I've absolutely had a horrific operation I've got through it. Unfortunately, I'm having a few problems again at the moment, but that's my own fault through dancing and joking around with my niece. Give yourself credit. You're a damn good dancer. <laughs> that's my light moment on it. But honestly, to end on a real positive notion, think about these things which I've mentioned. I use my channel as a almost like a virtual diary, speaking out loud, thinking out loud as to speak. If something bothers you, talk about it. If something's stressing you out, sometimes even grabbing a pen and paper and writing it down helps you gain clarity. But one thing in this life which we don't do, and I see this when I spend time looking on YouTube, on our YouTube community, and you look through, and people are so hard and nasty on themselves. People who are larger people, who are beautiful in themselves, are so cruel and nasty to themselves. Give yourself credit. People who are going through hell and they're expecting it just to turn around just like that. The first step means that you're on your way. It doesn't mean that you're through it all, but you're on your way. Give yourself credit. If you're trying to make something of your life, give yourself credit. Honestly, and age has nothing to do with it, whether you're 12, 18, 50, 17, 99 or 105. As long as you have breath in your body and your mind is cognitively well and you are healthy, you can change. Give yourself credit. Thanks very much indeed for sharing this clip with me. My very best wishes to you. Love, support. I'm right here if you want to ask me a question. Take great care and I'll be seeing you real soon. Enjoy the rest of the weekend. God bless. See you real soon. Bye for now.